with allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Trustee Trombley. Here. Trustee Nielinski. Here. Trustee Trombley. Here. Trustee Garrett. Here. Mayor McBetridge. Here. Uh, approval of the minutes of the previous meeting, May 6, 2019, a regular board meeting. So moved. And a second? Second. All right. Are there any corrections, discussions? I would just like to add that this, this set of minutes is um, absolutely stellar. This was an extremely difficult meeting to write about. We had tons of information and presentations and facts and figures and people interrupting each other. And I know it took Mary a long, long time to pull it together, so I thank you. You really did a great job on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, excellent job. And I've done minutes before. I'm not sure it is. Oh, I can't even do minutes. I just forget to write. I just listen. <laughs> All right, if there are no Was that the May 6th minutes? Yeah. Oh, did yeah. I skip Amy, to May 6th? May, you said May 6th. Yeah, yeah. May 6th. Amy, you right. weren't here. You can't approve them. Can she? Oh, no. No, so that's right. She, right. Right. Oh, yeah, she, yeah, she came late. She, yeah. I, yeah, oh, she, she came late. Right. Yeah. yeah, so oh, she did the motion. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, she did come late. You're right. She did. Right. Right. That's all right. I, I broke off. She was not here. She was right. Okay. I'm so sorry. You're fine. <laughs> God, I thought I was here. Well, I'm really losing it because I swore I was here. Me too. It then. sounded all good when I read it. <laughs> it sounded familiar, right? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Well, did you just tease it. All right, if there are no corrections, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Sorry. That's fine. Presentation of petitions, communications, and general question period for members of the community. Can we approve the May 28th? Oh, I'm sorry. I skipped the May the, the 28th. Sorry about that. So the special meeting, the May 28th. Do you have a motion to approve? So moved. And a second? Second. All right. Any discussion on these? Yep. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> motion carries. Now, members of the community, as we have no one here tonight, we'll dispense with that. Report from the Codes Enforcement Officer. Um, you have my report. There's not much or anything new. A little bit of work with the Zoning Board. We did some training, uh, issued a few building permits, and again, it's that time of year, trash and grass. So, working on that. Any progress on the grass, Mike? Okay. Yeah, no, please go ahead. There's a couple of them I got in court, just waiting for court to do whatever it's going to do. And there's some more that's going to be going. I mean, I can only get to them when I get to them. So, I'm working okay. on the one up by you. Okay, so. yeah, that, that is literally gone to, to see just like Timothy. I mean, yeah, to oh, I, know, I was up there and I you. thought. I talked to him last week and he was supposed to have it all cut over the weekend. Well, that didn't happen. So. Wednesday when I'm here, he's the next one to go. Okay. There's a few other ones in the village. I've got a list there of different places. So. A couple people did mow. Yeah. They did respond. Yeah. So that was good. Two, two that I know. It's almost like we need to send letters to these people on the 15th of April. Exactly. Like, reminder, reminder. You need to mow in May. You need to mow. Uh, a couple times a week. I don't know what to do, but it's the same ones every year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, they, and most of them that I'm aware of won't do a thing until they start getting pressured, and then yeah. they'll finally do something. Well, now, once I have the pictures and their date stamp and they go to court, they can cut it if they want, but it's up to the court, you know. In the past, a lot of them got dismissed. I'm curious to see what's going to happen this round. Because one of them, it's the second offense since October, so mm -hmm. we'll see what's going to happen there. Well, okay. please keep pushing and pressuring because mm -hmm. it's ridiculous. I, mean, I can see not mowing often enough is one thing, but just plain not mowing 
at all. Yeah, there, there were some, that, <laughs> they just started mowing it there this past week. I hadn't been touched at all. And, you know, I said, what the hell are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. so. I know, I think I probably mowed it at least a half a dozen times, if not more. Every week, yeah. But that's I about see, it. I mean, uh, I see the, the South Street properties have done some attempt at cleaning up. Well, one's going to court, the other one got a notice of violation. And we had a little discussion there last week. It was yeah. short. So. It looks like they <laughs> picked a few things up. Well, you know, I, I'm done playing around with them. Every week I got to go up there and, and go through the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know. So well, we support you, Mike. Just no, I know. Do it's just you do I'm, I'm fed up with them. I'm trying to reason with them, give them a chance, but it, it's not working. Obviously, they they don't get it. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll go to the root of the court if they have money to give to the court. That you know, so be it. was busy in the village of Champlain. The Elm Street Bridge was clean and repainted. The blower project of the wastewater treatment plant was completed. Remediation of the contamination in front of the office has progressed. Streets have been cleaned, ditches dug, trees planted, and docks installed, among many other things. I thank Juanita, Mary, Mike, Woody, Robert, Jimmy, Mike, and Mike for their dedication to keeping this village running smoothly. They are the brawn and the brains of this operation. A number of events and activities will take place this summer. Check the website or the Facebook page for the schedule of concerts, longboat rowing, children's activities, farmer's market, fun runs, among others. There's still time to plant some vegetables or flowers in the community garden. I think we've got three spots left. Uh, it has come to my attention that messages of hate and racism have been heard and seen on the playground, on the streets, and on village property. This is not who we are, and this is not what we stand for. Everyone has the right to be treated fairly, regardless of who they love the color of their skin, or where they worship. A group of residents will be gathering soon to discuss this issue. I welcome others' input. Call me to offer your suggestions. This is an opportunity to create a welcoming community where all voices are heard. In the words of Dwight D. Eisenhower, this world of ours must avoid becoming a community of dreadful fear and hate and be instead a proud confederation of mutual trust and respect. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, reports from the trustees. Amy? So I filled out an RFA, it wasn't a grant, um, to get assistance for a study for downtown, um, kind of the continuation with the whole uh, park piece, um, w with the focus being on driving businesses into the village and what we can do to get them there, based off of our strong um, outdoor activities that we already have of all the multiple different grants of the things that we've added uh, down in the village. So we'll see, that's going to be announced in July, uh, so we'll hear on that. We were approved for the concerts in the park, uh, so we're getting an additional two? Two concerts. Oh, well it actually is one, but we're getting a really good concert. Okay. So I wrote it as two, so do we need to get permission from them for it to be one with a price? I don't know, price? but I already signed the contract, so okay. we do have three other concerts in addition to okay. that one, okay. so I think we can figure that out. Okay. Well, me be, I'll just, I'll just write a letter to them, because they're very particular that you do, and we have to show receipts for what we say. And, and purchase with that. Um, they're very stringent. We can we can work that out. Right. Um, and the paint was ordered for the um, stencils, 
and I have some options for stencils I'd like to discuss with you for downtown. So, as, as you know, the original people we were going to buy from, they told me they would give me 25% off, blah, 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 and then they changed the story. So I told them, you know, like Amy does, no, thank you, we won't be doing business with you. So I found a couple other places, and it looks like Peaceful Playgrounds um, has the best prices for what they offer. I did request a discount, and they did say they'd have an answer by tomorrow for me, but unfortunately it wasn't by today. But um, So these are options. That, that they have available. So they have a, a really good price on the whole United States of America, which I thought just would be so colorful and, and great to put it out there. It's 27 feet. It's big. Um, so it would be kind of nice. It's mm -hmm. just whereabouts would we be putting that. Um, the other thing, they also had a world one if we wanted to be more educational for the kids, and that was the same size equal. Of course, a hopscotch one, which mm -hmm. got to have. And then an outline of a half basketball court so that people actually have the line and the, the markings to go from. Uh, I would like more options, but the Peaceful Playground did not have more individualized. They had this really nice one that I thought would be amazing, and I'll have to table that for next year, grant money, uh, that we could use on our trail. So it has uh, a whole variety of different things. So between an alphabet, a uh, combined hopscotch, just like an agility thing as you're going down the trail for kids, more mm -hmm. so for the mm -hmm. kids to be involved as they're forced to walk with mom and dad on the trails, right? Um, something kind of fun uh, for them to do. And that, it's pricey. It's like $2,000, but it's amazing. And it would just be so wickedly awesome to have. Does that have to go on asphalt, though, or...? Asphalt or cement or so. The so the the section. Section. The the section. Section. Yes, obviously you can't go on the stone. That would be a nightmare. <laughs> um, so we'll put that in for you know uh, another grant for that. So just wanted to get your thoughts as to whether you'd like to see a world map, a uh, uh, United States map, where you think we could put it. Um, the hopscotch piece, et cetera, et cetera. So the other one that they had, but that was $1,400, which I thought would be great to go around the street. Now it's meant specifically for like a U-shape like we have, you know, going around the metal there. Um, and again, it's just an agility thing to do along mm -hmm. the edge, which I thought that would be really kind of cool. But that's $1,400. And we only have another six hundred, like twenty some dollars to spend. Okay, so we have, we have actually we have an account that's a playground account. So why can't we use some of that money? So I was thinking the same thing. So I was going to ask that, depending on what you like. Um, the more the merrier, but obviously if we go with that big thing, we're going to need more than the paint I got. I do have some questions though. Mm -hmm. On the revitalization yeah. plan, that um, that paint area is taken out. Right. Um, maybe half of it might be taken out and we have we still have half for a basketball court and we can mm -hmm. use the, the, the striping like you said. Does the court, the half court and the map fit in our space? Yes. Okay. The space we have now? The space, the space we have, we have now. now. Mm -hmm. okay. And what's the life on these stencils? Well, there's no life. Well, I mean in terms it's of scraping paint. and, well, I know, but I'm <laughs> saying the yeah. paint and the, because... So this is the paint that they use on the roads, you know, for our striping. Um, so it's supposed to last a lot longer than any other options mm -hmm. that they had available. Um, but it will be need to be reapplied. The stencils are reusable, mm -hmm. which is what I wanted, so that then you could redo and freshen up, change colors, you know. Um, so I don't know, to be honest. You know, she was thinking three to five years if you're running a snow plow over it, and depending on how much traffic. But for what we're doing, it's not going to be that unless I do the one along the, the road piece. But like you said, if we're going to do the park over, when and if. 
I can't see that happening for at least three years right. because it's major funding. I'm not sure where that's coming from. Mm -hmm. So we, we certainly have the space right now to do it. World, U.S. How much detail is Or it? how much money do we have in that account? <laughs> the world. It's just each each the, all the continents, okay. which is cool, and it has the the countries outlined in the continents, which is. And then the United States one is obviously each individual state, different colors. There's 3,800 in that account. So we could do. I can see what kind of discount he'll give us if we add in that other one and how long it is so I can measure out how far exactly that we have it paved mm -hmm. in our sections. Um, or we could do it the sidewalk between the library and the path, which would be really mm -hmm. nice. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. Connecting the two things together. That's a great idea. What would you do on the sidewalk? It wouldn't be just big one, obviously. The agility one, you know, yeah. that yeah. it's, you know, it's got the, the ladder, it's got the alphabet thing, it's got a counting thing, it's, it's just all hands-on activity. So that would go across the bridge? I can send pictures the sidewalk across the bridge, you mean? No, I would do it like from the library to the beginning of the activity trail. So it's actually oh, on the so trail. Go, so it's on the, really on the so trail. Going that way. I was thinking this yeah. direction here. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah. And the only other place I'd recommend like maybe one. considering putting something smaller if we can would be um, Cedar Street. Just because there, there are so many young children down there yeah. and they don't really have a green space yeah. around them. But that would be an activity for them. Mm -hmm. And they could even do down there either the United States or the continents. Yeah. You know, so, so even if you put something like that in the road one. and somebody gets hit, you're probably liable. Yeah. You're encouraging them to play in the road. Oh. Right. So you know I, what I mean? You've got to be careful. I, yeah. I know if it's so not in a, you can't really do it in a roadway. On a, like a sidewalk, you could, but you're, yeah. once yeah. you put it there, that's going to encourage the kids if something happens to one of them. It's going to come back right. here. Yeah, I don't want the kids. That's on, the only I, bad I don't thing about on the roads, even around. Uh, I mean, in the playground. The playground inside is one thing, or, or the bike path on, on, along the elm, you know, further up or whatever. If it's on the walking mm -hmm. path part, you're okay. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if I put it in I agree with any you. place where there's traffic. No, I don't want because if something. And if you did Cedar Street, that's where you have to put it. Wouldn't you? No, uh, the the ones along the sidewalk. There's a sidewalk there. Okay. So yeah, if you cut sidewalk the... stencils, that's one thing because we did asphalt from the sidewalk. We widened the road, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't put anything in the road because no. if it's in the driving lane, basically, you're looking for a yep. lawsuit. I'm actually trying to draw the kids off of the street because that's where they play, but it's a little dangerous. Can we put anything in the pavilion? On the floor in the pavilion? It's grass. It's so dirt. It's dirt. It's dirt. Uh, Can't yeah. have a floor. For some reason, I was thinking yeah. it was concrete. Yeah. yeah. I still understand why you have concrete there. So, a map so on the tarmac. Right. No, pores. A map on the tarmac. Right. You do make pores for Maybe the striping for a half of the court. Yeah. Um, and then one, one for sidewalks, and we'll decide where, which sidewalks. Okay. That's my recommendation. I don't know how the rest of you feel. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be nice to see how, before we spent a ton of money, to see how it's going to hold up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the stencils are two forty nine for the big maps, the two maps each, mm -hmm. um, which was a fraction of all the others that were out there. Um, and then the other one for the hopscotch and the basketball were forty nine ninety nine. Now. Amazon actually had a basketball court, which is identical to the one at, at uh, Peaceful Playground, for thirty dollars and twenty-four cents with free shipping. Um, so you know that's nominal. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and there's other things that we can do that don't necessarily require a stencil to to make it. You know, um, I I really wanted this this alphabet snake. I pictured that going up to the library, mm -hmm. you know, from the playground in the alphabet. Um, but they were all five hundred dollars or more, and with a place I won't do business with. <laughs> so how much was that with this one that you wanted? Which one? The alphabet or whatever. They didn't have the alphabet. The other one was the um, agility that had 
the letters in it so that you're going so along just that? doing the whole combination was fourteen ninety nine. And I didn't write that down because it was so much more money, but then afterwards I thought, oh yeah, we have money I think still in the playground fund that we could do. Um, so I don't even, I can't even tell you how long it is, but I can send you all out an email and then we can measure the amount of space and mm -hmm. let you know. We can order. Kind of just what are the idea. stencils made of? Rubber. Plastic the rubber. That snake. Well, and really, you literally could and yeah. just do the sections yeah. of it. Um, I just thought that was so cool. Uh, yeah. For the price that they charge, right. it's like insanity. <clears throat> but. Yeah. So is that enough feedback from the board to proceed yeah, yeah. with? Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll measure the one that it is, and then I'll send you pictures, and if you like that, then yeah. we'll go yeah. ahead with it. All right, good. Okay. It's just a matter of do you want the United States of America or do you want the world? I can send you pictures of both. I'm sure you can picture. picture. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You have to see how much paint. What if it's going to be all different colors? Well, we're going to have to get more paint. There's That's no too. question about it. Yeah. Well, I got the primary color so we can mix and make colors. Oh, you're so creative. Yes. Anyway, so it'll be fun. Okay. Great, thank you. Yep. Tom? Okay, um, so report on the uh, water project negotiations. We met with, uh, as a team, uh, shortly after our last meeting, which was the following night. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, we proposed what we talked about in regards to the payment schedule. Um, the way I wrote, uh, controlling the water rates, etc., and it, it was you know I spent some time digesting it, and they were agreeable with it. Um, and they feel that they'll have their meeting tomorrow night. They're quite certain the board is going to go along with this, so it's very promising that we're nearing an end. Um, we did talk about the writing in a section. And the IMA and the lawyers decided if they wanted it to be separate or not, but I, can probably, I think it needs to, to live as a separate section, at least because it would be a separate repayment, some sort of schedule that we, have, we need to come up with on what they can afford and what we'll accept for the repayment. Yeah. yeah. And again, they agreed that it was doable. Great. Um, so I'm just hoping to hear back. I'm hoping that the next step will be taking what I've started building a better draft to provide for lawyers and let them work on it. You know, we've got to, we've got to cut through that old IMA and take a lot of stuff out, which mm -hmm. I previously have done, so I just have to relook at it. And yeah. There's a lot there's a lot of material that's in there that doesn't need to be there. Right, that's right. Because it was all about going forward with starting a project and mm -hmm. so on and now it's all past tense. Mm -hmm. Sounds, <laughs> sounds really promising. Yeah, I thought, can you agree? I mean, I thought it was very mm -hmm. promising. I was very pleasantly really surprised that it was receptive well. And I, think we're, I think we're getting close. That's wonderful. And I thank both of you for your input and diligence and your persistence and patience. You're very welcome. Mm -hmm. um, so with regards to that, we'll wait until after the meeting tomorrow night, and uh, I know they're in final right now, so I haven't received a reply to my email, but we actually forgot to schedule our next meeting, so we need to schedule it, meet again, and, and keep going forward. Um, I wanted to thank Mike and the crew for the streets. I think they look great. I know you guys have been sleeping like crazy. How many yards did you pick up? I'm curious. I don't know. We have a huge pile on Hill Street. It's all off the streets. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? We'll be using it. Can we bring it back up to the... No. no. We use it for common fill over places like out here. <laughs> 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 places like down by the curb I got to dig. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we use it for common fill. Okay. Works out right for that. Instead of trashing it. Yeah. Then the other two things I have is I want to report the progress in the sign, but I got 
was out on a field trip today that I wasn't expecting. Did you go on a field trip? Yeah. <laughs> so my day got just pulled away from me and I didn't get home. Okay. It was on my list to contact Scott and see where he's at. You know, so I can't tell you where the where he's at with the sign. Okay. Um, and then I have a question in regards to the trail, actually. When you were talking about it, maybe you remember. Um, the washout areas on that trail, who's, you know, have we ever decided on how we're going to repair that? Who's responsible? We talked at one point where we went to the county would come back and, and take care of it. No, but we are. We signed off on it. We are. I know, that's what I thought. Yeah. So yeah. I'm sure we don't have time. How, how do we no, our, our, manage our, our that? Process. Not just so much yeah. time, but you got to have so equipment to do it. I mean, when you put that stone dust, you got to put cows, you can roll it. You know, they use big asphalt rollers. I thought originally it was going to be paved, but I guess they didn't find the money. Right. Because they're supposed to pave that, and then the maintenance, you know, we cut the grass on the side and stuff, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't know, we'll do whatever we got to do. I mean, we'll just figure out a way to do what we have to do. We'll, we'll fill it or whatever, but it may not stay. No, I know. It's, it's, it's an they area. They put calcium in them, usually, yeah. That's what. Hard to say, you know. Mm -hmm. They roll it. They use stone dust and they roll it. Mm -hmm. Which you need that compaction. And they usually put calcium, and that's what bonds. But I know there's a small spot. Somebody said by the bridge, there was a small spot on the side. Well, there's well, a spot when you go. It's like behind. Cherry it's like Street. Right, it's Cherry Street. 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 Yeah, it's like yeah. right behind, behind oh, Cherry Street. Street. Yeah. Exactly. That is really washed out within that hill. I don't know. I was looking at it as a safety hazard. It's like if somebody's going through there with a bicycle and doesn't well, we'll go up, see it. I'll go up and fill it or get it. some barrels or cones on it for now and see if we can go up and fill it. Okay. Okay, should we contact the county to see if there's any plan on continuing towards trying to finish paving? I'm quite sure there is not. I mean, I, I can ask. I don't mind asking. I can give Harry a call. Yeah. But my understanding was that they, the money, they're out of money for that. The green pot? I think so. Okay. I certainly can ask. Okay. Well, that was my concern is somebody getting hurt. You know, it's pretty deep. Is that deep? Yeah, it's probably like, you know, somewhere in 10 it's, inches it's, or so. It's off to one side, though. It is, it it's, is. You know, it's not the entire, it's not the entire trail. trail. We'll get something. I mean, there. when I walk it, I just walk on the other yes. side. It's just all on one side. I'll yeah, when you I'll, see those kids go see if I can get a hold racing of the, around there on the bikes, they're not paying attention. Yeah. No, but they're not on the car and see what they use for or the streets or yeah, the dust in there. And try to get the same. Okay. Because I know yeah. the last time we got it was a different color. You can see it on this end. It looks like it's wet all the time. It's a different color stone. But I'll see what he put on there. I don't know if it's stone dust or what he put. I'll see if I'll find out from Carl and see what they originally put and where they got it from. But he's Corey's different. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It looks like a stone, but it doesn't, <laughs> well, doesn't. As long as it's safe, I guess it's all that. Same stuff. It's just unfortunate. It will wash out again. It's so going to keep getting worse. What if we look at in those sections that keep washing out of paving it and looking for funding for that? Can we get a quote on that for those two areas that really wipe out? Wash out? Wipe out? Not a bad idea. I don't really know. Is there any kind of trenching that could be done to draw the water off the trail? Out. We have to do yeah. that, first of all. Yeah. 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 You, I'm you thinking that should, we could do that. They should have put culverts in yes. ahead of time if, if it was bad areas, but you tear it out, you get, I don't know. Could have, could have, should have. See, I don't, I don't know how it's going to work. You will have to find private contractors probably because like our paving county does, and they don't have time to do that. They're not going to do... Right. you got to have a small well, machine to get in there. Yeah, you have to have a... Like a driveway machine. The driveway machine. Mm -hmm. You're 100 percent right. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, we can it's something that, to look into to move towards because we're gonna if you go up there and spend a day or more trying to repair it, it's gonna happen again. Right. And then we just pe keep paying money to put that gravel down, and it just keeps washing away. It's like, yeah. Okay. I'll make some calls. Well, I will talk to, I'll talk to the county about, I'll talk to Harry about the paving if there's, it's in the plans at all. Right, it's a, it's a good place to start. Yeah. And we'll see the plan well, it's originally what it was sold as, it would be right. totally paved. Right, Yeah. The whole thing was, yeah. Anything else, Tom? Nope, that's all I have. Thank you. Um, I met with a few um, community members about how
having a summer, summer camp being offered for kids this summer to do arts and crafts, uh, physical activities, and science activities. Um, so we decided to do Monday and Wednesdays from July 15th to August 14th. There's 10 sessions um, for from 11 to 12.30. Um, and we'll do four different types of activities and it'll gear towards all ages. So we'll have things for the younger kids, some for the older kids. And it'll be held at the playground. Um, we have a Facebook event for this called Summer Camp. So anyone can respond to that and share it. Or if there's any questions, you can contact me by email um, at Nikki Molinsky. Uh, yahoo.com. We have on June 28th the longest day of play which is one to three and that's at the playground also. Um, this is our third fourth, fourth year. Maybe. Fourth year. Uh, it's a county-wide event so many areas are doing some kind of event for that day. You can find more information on that from the Clinton County Health Department mm -hmm. website. Um, and we'll have like long games, hopscotch, four square, an obstacle course and a few other little fun things to do. Um, I did contact also a dance studio instructor who is more than happy to come for an hour and show a few little dance moves to the kids, so we'll have that also as part of the day. Um, and June 23rd is our first fun run. It's Sunday at 5 o'clock on River Street, and that's for ages up to 16. Um, kids just get out and race the road. and. Uh, We'll have five of those this summer, so three, I don't know if we decided on three or four. They earn a t-shirt at the end. Um, so it's a, it's a four, four, okay. mm -hmm. four out of five, and that's every other Sunday at five o'clock. What time? Okay. Five. Yeah. And that's probably the fourth year we're doing that, too. Yeah, I think that's fourth so. year. Um, the only thing I have is, I see I had a copy of the um, Doc Doctors. I have not heard anything on that grant yet. Um, they said it would be sometime June or July, and I just, I have not had time lately to... Don't, don't worry about to, it. To um, reach out to you. To, well, she said, she said she won't even be copied on the email. It will come directly to me. Okay. Um, so, and I haven't seen anything, so I'm thinking we're already the 10th of June. If it's not this month, I would think it's going to be the beginning part of next month. So, um, hopefully we're going to hear something. And yeah. that's really all I have. We have the kayak launch grant on um, as old business, but do you mind discussing that now as long as Kim just brought that up? Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Why don't we just talk about that now rather than come back to it? Um, I think we all agree that we would really, we would really like this this launch system. One idea is that um, we go ahead and purchase one and put it. I haven't talked to Mike about this, so actually you'd have to work this out with me because I don't know how, how it would fit. But let's assume it will um, and put it at the boat launch and just purchase one and have it at the launch. And then if we get the grant, get it at the new launch site that's in the revitalization study plan down by the playground. Um, and the reason I mention that is I just think that so many people have asked me if we can't if we can't get this so that they can get out on the river. It's very difficult to get into kayaks with any kind of hip issues or other mobility issues. They're not it's not that expensive. Juanita said that she thought we could find the money to pay for that mm -hmm. fairly easily. Um, it's just an idea. It's up to the board, but we could order it and proceed with it after I talk to Mike about if it uh, would fit. Um, so I'm not putting you on the spot right no, now. I'll have to um, I mean, we'd have to go and, and look at the, the, the layout of the land. No matter. We'll, we'll shape it to what we need. I mean, we'll make it, we'll make it work. Removal it's supposed to be moved out every summer. Yeah, it it, it would so be moved out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if we put it in for now. Okay. Yeah. Move it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I think we're going to wait for this grant, which we may or may not get. Of course, mm -hmm. if we get it, it's so late that we can't really use it this season. If we don't get it, we just don't have it again for another year. 
Well, and they're paying for the rails, right? The one grant that said no to us? Or is uh, that only if we get the other grant? She, what Sierra said was that there is money left in that other grant um, and that they would, they'd find a way to fund it. Okay. So those rails could apply to this self-purchase one if we decide to do this, I would assume. Well, yeah, you really can't do this without the rails, that's the whole point. Well, I mean, we, yeah, I was thinking that that grant would probably pay for the rails. I don't think they care whether or not we get it through our funds or through a grant. We're still adding something to, commu the, to the community. Oh, right? no, I'm sure they wouldn't care. I don't know, though, on purchasing something in advance and then being reimbursed in a grant. Yeah, see, that, that was my out. only concern, and I, I wanted so. to try to contact Sierra again to get, um, to get clarification on that, and I just, I just haven't had time. Oh, I'm not suggesting that we buy the rails and then say, oh, by the way, we did this, can we have the money? I'm right, no, but if we go ahead first. and purchase it and then that other grant comes through, I don't know if you, you, you can't normally use grant money to reimburse for something you purchased. I'm not We're suggesting not. that. We're going to end up with two. We yeah. end up with two. If we get the grant. One at the boat launch and one by the playground at the new launch site. Okay. Do we need, Do we need two? Yeah. I mean, I, I, to wait another month for a decision? It's this. This is just a yeah. suggestion because there are no, people I'd love who to get it there are people who go to the boat launch yep. and can't get in kayaks. Yep. But there are people who are at the playground, and we're trying to build this right. center down there yeah. that would perhaps launch from there. That will not be accessible all season. The water is going to be too low. Uh huh. But it's totally up to the board. If you want to wait and hear about the grant, I'm totally, I'm, I'm I, with you. I would lean towards that and, and purchasing one out of our own funds and having two if we don't really have a need for two. I guess is where I'm going. And if you're, if you're worried about the water being low at that site, why would we put it there then? Well, it's part of the revitalization effort to build up the downtown area to bring people in and then have them recreate bikes, boats, the playground, hopefully get some small shops down there, and it just concentrates people there. But right now, all we have is the boat launch, and that's where people are using their kayaks, and that's where it would be used at this point. But if you feel like you'd rather not spend that money and you want to wait, I, it's your decision. It was just a thought. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about, I don't, I'm worried that we won't get it and we'll have another year of waiting for it. Well, if we, if we think we'll have an answer, it's it, yeah, right. or any month, let's right. say, within a month, we still should have time to purchase one. I thought the AARP one was August announcement. I didn't, I, because I, you well, I don't want to start searching for it because yeah. that takes forever. You talked right about now. tying it into the Village Fest. That was to do the... Um, like the celebration of it and having oh. having the health the ribbon the, cutting yeah the ribbon coming thank you um and tying it in with the village fest which is what the first weekend in august um because that we thought we'd have time to to get the acknowledgement whether we got it or didn't get it and then decide what we wanted to do at that point i do not know what the lead time is on ordering this I can I can try to call them tomorrow and find out what the lead time is. Well, yeah, I mean that's it's probably a couple of weeks. I I would think that they've got these things pretty well. I think there's I, I would think a they're like a, in Vermont. I believe that's where these guys yeah. are from. Okay, I thought the ARP grant was in August, so I might be mistaken on that. Mm -hmm. I think you're right, actually. Because in, in August there's that. no reason to put it in. Well, yeah, because you still can do your kayaking and your canoeing through the fall. Well, uh, not in this part of the river. Why is that? It's water so That's, that's my point, so why would you put it there? Why not put it where the water is deeper? Where you can use it for a longer season. We may, you know, we may end up doing that. Yeah. But 
May I understand but we don't why? have. I don't think we have to decide that totally right now. I mean, I'd like to have that secondary launch site. I think that would be nice, but maybe it's not a good location. Well, we don't have to discuss this any further. But so it sounds like you prefer to just wait and see if we get the grant. Maybe table at least till till next month's yeah. meeting. Yeah. Okay. Let me see if idea. I can get some more information from Sierra. Okay. <clears throat> or try to go back and find when that is supposed to be awarded, but I thought it was supposed to be before August. Um, okay. Thanks, Kim. Thanks for all your work on this. Anything else? No. Uh, report from the clerk treasurer. Um, Evelyn has her expense and revenue reports for May, which is our year end. Um, we ended the year end with our general fund having 50,000, water 40,000, and our sewer had 6,900. Mm. That was good budget. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't that? That's, a, that's our rollovers for the year. 50 in general, 40 in water, or 50 in water? 40 in water, and 69 in sewer. Um, the general being 50 because we didn't do any paving. I'm not sure what our paving is going to cost next year. Um, I'd probably suggest not rolling anything into a reserve in general. Um, water, we do have 40. If we want to do um, half of that or even 30,000 and F8845, which is reserved for inventory, we talked about the nano filters that down the road might have to purchase. Um, that's your just. That's what I would suggest. Even and those are 20. way down the road. Hopefully, God willing, well, if nothing stupid happens. Yes. Right, but if you pinpoint it for that, then you have to use it for that. Yeah, but it's it's reserved for inventory. Plus, I think those were the price tag was around sixty thousand. So even though we may be eight years away, if we put a little bit away over the years, we should have it. No, that would be. Don't forget too. All these meters are replacing. Oh, eight, that's eighteen right. Eighteen years. That's another. That's another inventory. That's another inventory. Twenty year battery on them. They got to be swapped. So that's something we need to look at. Yeah. You know, if you yeah. a little bit at a time, so yeah. it doesn't all come at once. If we put some away this year, and then next year we're talking about the water replacement, next year we might not be able to, you know, it's just... I'd recommend that we put some away. Mm -hmm. I agree. No, I think 30 is a good number, I think that's where we should start. Mm -hmm. How do the rest of you feel? Uh, I agree. Make a motion to move thirty thousand from the water fund into uh, reserve for parts inventory. Inventory, right? Is there a second? Second. Any other discussion? I don't know what's going to happen. What do we need for inventory? If I have a bad stretch, I can just look them out of there too. For right. For for general repairs. repairs of breaks, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Hopefully, it's slow down. Don't you it, don't mention it. All right, so there's a motion. That's a roll call. Um, Trustee Trombley. Aye. Trustee Walensky. Aye. Trustee Trombley. Aye. Trustee Garrick. Aye. Mayor McFatridge. Aye. Our tabs are full. Anything else? Uh, we'll need it on the, the report. Um, no, that's just, I, 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 somebody ever must say anybody has any other questions on there. But I think we did pretty decent for the year. I think it was really good planning. Presentation of warrant and payment. Okay, first of all, we, we have to do a transfer because we have those other bills for um, the blowers. So we need to do a transfer from G230 cash reserves to G1440.1, $29,052. Make a motion to do that transfer. Is there a second? Second. Discussion? <clears throat> this is our, this was our fourth and our fifth payment, so this is the end of it. Ooh, yeah. Who is right? Check. 
$29,052. And is that a roll call, too? Yep. Okay. Um, Trustee Trombley. Aye. Trustee Linsky. Aye. Trustee Trombley. Aye. Trustee Garrett. Aye. Mayor McPetrich. Aye. Additional invoices of thirty-seven thousand zero zero nine eight nine for a total warrant of forty thousand seven sixty-two ninety-five. Oh no, it, never mind. Additional invoices are three thousand seven fifty-three oh six. I have it the opposite way. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but the total warrant is forty thousand seven sixty-two ninety-five. Is there a motion? I make a motion to uh, approve the warrant for forty thousand seven sixty-two ninety-five. A second. Second. Other discussion? The slight chemical for, that was the year in stomach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I thought we didn't get the bill till today. Yeah. <laughs> Is there no other questions? Roll call. Trustee Trombley? Aye. Trustee Malinsky. Aye. Trustee Trombley. Aye. Trustee Garrett. Aye. Mayor McPatrick. Aye. Report from the superintendent. Uh, I didn't do a, I didn't get a chance to do a report. Um, we've uh, stayed pretty busy. Street cleaning is uh, is done. We're into ditching and uh, getting ready for asphalt cleanup. Culvert installations. Um, I still don't have a date yet when asphalt's going to happen here. Um, they're unsure. They, they have a bunch of culvert stuff to do too. So he was thinking more towards closer to fall, September, October. Um, but I don't oh. know. I'm not sure. Um, so, but I'm going to just gonna keep going on it because if he does come early and we're not ready, Mm -hmm. That's right. yeah. So we're going to do what we can to, uh, and I still haven't finished my uh, hydro flush procedure. i got to get that finished with me still got to flush hydrants. That's going to be, a, I'm guessing, at least a three-week process, probably, hydrant testing, uh, full testing and flushing. So uh, got to get going on that. It should have been done already, but we just got streets clean. I think it was last week we finished up, but the weather hasn't been for that wasn't too good. Now it's mm -hmm. nice. But. So we're just going to keep going on uh, doing what we got to do to, to stay afloat. <laughs> um, we did get a few, I don't know if you guys know, we got a few trees. We got six red oaks. Mm -hmm. Those are all planted. Um, but other than that, we're just uh, trying to get what we can done for, well, summer's here because it's a couple months from now, we're going to be heading the other way. I just look at the calendar and I say, oh my gosh, it's getting closer. Um, I do have, I mean, I'll give you guys a sheet too, just so you have it to look at. Slap them, it just started. That's so close. Yeah. That's not, that's not cabbage house, that's just box, plow, wing, and the sanders built in the box. But on the back side is what the correct cost for that. That's no truck, that's just both add-ons. Mm -hmm. I've got a, I gotta get a, I got a whole piece of equipment too that's gotta go. Um, I just ordered pins for the Peterbilt. The pins, I'm hoping it's just pins, but our, uh, our, our dump cylinder's leaking. So, I just priced a new dump cylinder. I'm gonna call, he was actually supposed to send me tonight. They, serial number or uh, make and model so I can find out what's going to cost to rebuild it. But uh, they think most of the time it's cheaper to buy a new cylinder than it's going to rebuild. But I know the cylinder's like, I don't know, 2600, 2700, I think that's what it was, something mm -hmm. like that. Plus they got to bring somebody to pull the box off. Um, and our backhoe, my uh, extend-a-hole cylinder's leaking inside the boom. So the boom has to be taken apart. 
That must be covered under warranty. No, that's been gone for, that's a 2014. That's been gone for a couple of years in warranty. How come I thought we did an extended one on that? We did, but it's well, five it's years old now. It's already five Jesus. years old. Mm -hmm. The 14. So, um, I'm going to make a few calls. I'm going to see maybe about, maybe Dragon's their case dealer maybe. Because if they got to take it, we got to haul it to Colchester. You know, hire 500 bucks probably, hire a tractor trailer, and then bring it back after. Or we're going to have them come here and try to do it in the yard. I don't know. But I was going to see what it, if they can give me some kind of idea. Cool. I mean, it's got to be fixed. But give me some kind of, I mean, it could be a 60 cent O ring on the, on the end of the fitting. I don't know, but it's inside the telescopic boom. I mean, you got to take that whole boom apart. Right. I don't know if we can do that here. No. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call and see, try to get some kind of idea, and either see what they charge to come get it, and if not, I'll drive it tomorrow. Uh, but it's, we're getting into our busy season with the pitching and everything, so I can't be down. Mm -hmm. But it's leaking inside. If I lift it all the way up, it, it leaks for a while, then it dumps out, you know, so we added some today. But, yeah, so we're five years old already. Goodbye. Time to treat it. Huh. I'm already looking at that. It went up a lot. It went up a lot? Yeah, they went up about uh, uh, almost 30000 last year compared to what we paid for ours. Yep. Because Ross is playing a brand new one. I was looking at what they were paying. It's almost $30,000 more. Went up a lot. Well, it's probably going to be one of our next items on the list here. <laughs> not this year. Cloud truck, probably be. And I was actually talking to him about that too. Um, if we go ahead and order a plow truck, we probably want to do it by like, should do it by probably August or September of this year. We won't have it for next plow season, it'll be the following plow mm -hmm. season because we're over a year out. So you're going to have, no, have this budget year, next budget year, before mm -hmm. that far out. I was just talking to the I said, so say if I wanted a truck for, not this winter, next winter, he said, you probably need to order it by this, like August. August, okay. To have it for two years from now. Yeah. yeah. Because it's over a year, because they, whatever it takes for the, to get the truck, and then they got to have it for so many months, because they got to build Put the box on and build it for your plummet. Pull all the brackets, do it for whatever the vehicle is. And, they, and there's only one, you know, it's, they all, it doesn't matter which make truck, it all goes to the same place. Okay, so uh, I guess you need to get us quotes for the next yeah. meeting. Well, yeah. Well, I don't know about next meeting, maybe the meeting after that. July, August. I, I figure by the time, even if we start getting quotes, you figure it's going to be a you're gonna have at least a couple months tied up because you're gonna get them. You're gonna to come to the meeting. We have to decide. Is gonna we we'll have to change. You know what I mean? So you got you got two months. Yeah, but you're gonna right start getting quotes in order to start the process. Yeah. Can you do that, Mike? I'm gonna see what I can do. Yeah. I mean, I, we really need to make that decision in August. I mean, because you're looking at two years. I, mean, I know. Two I, winters. I don't before. want it to be three, though. No, yeah. I know. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, have to, so we'll look at what they got, what the options are, and try to get some, um, we'll try to change things maybe a little bit compared to the one we had, maybe smaller rubber, um, try to get it where it's... Well, like I suggested the body is, you got lower sides, yeah, the tailgate. They, they, yeah, that's, that's going to be standard. 20, uh, 27 inch sides, 39 inch gate, that's the biggest you can get for that style. It's got a built in sander, so they, it's, a, it's an in bed sander. Mm -hmm. so, so that's already going to put you lower in this one. Correct. Yeah. But your headboard's not. You gotta, you guys lower the, the cat in the tractor. Mm -hmm. If you don't lower the tractor, your headboard's still the same height because this one they had to take a foot off. Mm -hmm. I wasn't here then, but they said when they got it here, went to the garage. Mm -hmm. Really, if we can get away with it, not doing that after because that's where you have your problems that the, the peterbilt the tops rotted right out of it because it's been cut and 
if you can get it done before mm -hmm. from a factory, you just, you know what I mean? So they crowd everything. They, they put different canopies and stuff on them now, too, that to try to bring them the amount of money outside instead of on top to try to lower it. But I know that's one of the things that when they came up and looked at our truck, they think that they can put smaller rubber on it, too, shorter to try to, you know, the cab height. If they can get the cab height down, and they're going to get the headboard height down. So we'll, we'll have to see as it gets closer here and let's see what options are available, basically. Maybe well, you can some, bring... some models are sorry. Some That's models right. are probably going to be lower. You know, Pete's got a pretty tall cab. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could. If they didn't have to modify it. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll have to compare them and look at different models overall height of the cab. This one is tall. I mean, yeah. And, it, and, the, and the pins are worn out on this. I can lift the box right up. I can tip the box like this in that truck. It's not from dumping. It's from that sander. It's all top heavy, constantly rocking. So I just ordered two new pins. I'm hoping if I put new, two new pins, it's going to square that up. Because that's what happens. The box, they're so warped, when it comes down, it, it pushes on the cylinder. The box has got to recenter itself. So I'm hoping that we don't have to change the weld-on brackets for the pivot hinge. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try new pins first, because either way we're going to need them. And if that squares the box up, then we can, next month, I'll, I'll have whatever the cost is for a cylinder, because we're going to have to get it. We're going to have to get it fixed. Can't let it leak oil. It's leaking up inside the column in, in the tunnel. Okay. So, but there's no sense of putting the cylinder if it's not trued up, and it's, it's going to cause the same problem. Mm -hmm. So I want to start with the pre order the pins, fifty some bucks. So give me the pins, we'll put them in, and then let's see if that takes care of it. Because when you lift that up, when I first started here, there was a pin missing in that truck. We put a new one in. Well, only one side was changed. I'm hoping that it's wore more on one side, and that's why it's shifting. But we'll see. Once we change them, because if that cylinder has to be done, you got to take the box and everything off. So it's not, I mean, you're probably going to pay double what the cylinder price is in labor. Oh, God, yeah. So yeah. you're probably looking at sure. 10 grand by the time you're done. I mean, uh, but we'll see. I'll meet the pins first, and then we'll have to change okay. it and go that, go that route and see. So. All right. Okay. So there will be a little bit of expense coming up here for equipment, but it's you got to do it. I mean, yeah. you can't leave it. Yeah, and I agree with Janet. I know you don't have a lot of time, but if you get the uh, bolts going. I'll see what, I'll have to go up and meet with him and see what he can, uh, you know, like we had, but maybe something a little bit lower. The box is going to be smaller. Um, our old box was 44 inches high, 48 to the top of the gate. This was, uh, what did I say, 37 high or 27 high? I think 20, 37. 27 side, right? Yeah, 30, uh, 39 inch gate and 30, I don't remember. But it's uh, 6.11 yards water level, which the other one was more than that. Uh, he believes it'll be about the same as our old sander. He, he figures it's about 6 yards. So um, we, even with the lower sides, he figured it'd be about the same, which and it will make it easier for us to load. And the nice thing is, this one here's got the sander and the chain in the bottom, like everybody switched to now. All the it's the same thing as all the town, you know, all the towns, except they got a 14 foot box and a 10 foot box. But you're sanding in front of your wheels, so you have traction. Um, there is a material chute it, it, that comes with it. You can use to like show the roads with. You can use it like right and four. Um, there's a few things that uh, power up, power down the cylinder because we had trouble with this one. Um, and that has cylinders inside, so as you your sander gets unloaded, you you half the box tips up to put your sand back, which this one also can be dumped. Instead of if we get a break of chain, we gotta wash it out with a fire hose. There's no way to get in it. This one can be dumped if we need it to a break or whatever. We can dump the sand out, flip the plate down. You know, five minutes you flip the plate down, use it for a truck, come back, and your sander's already built in, so you don't have to load and unload. That's a big Mm -hmm. time so oh, it is. It is. even if, even to clean it you know every so often we can dump it and desalt it where the other one when it went in in the fall it didn't come out in the spring so that whole the salt's eating it the whole time yeah. well, so it's a much better system I've yeah. seen them yeah. so clean, well, um, so I'll see what I can done. have them start on uh, I already discussed it with them but I'll see what we can dig up for Pricing. We need to get at least get started. We need to get you started, know? right? 
Yeah, I talked to him tonight. He said it should be by, you know, I guess. Well, well it's I would like that. to do that by so, August. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I can't believe all the tapes I, now. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter which, because they, and they all go to, I mean, these guys do the clouds for Sanders for basically everybody. So even if they got five, if they're, even though the other truck companies are catching up, they're not because they still have that many coming. Mm -hmm. and, you know, they had to happen for, I think, they said around two months. Hmm. Well, okay. So. And, and the other thing I want to share with the board is I asked Mike if he could project, project out a say a one to five year plan of equipment replacement we we're talking about other things yeah. that are going to wear out and and uh whether or not there's any resale value like we talked about the mower we've talked about the other things so i'd like to have a, a bigger financial picture of what's coming up and how we are to save for it to plan for it so we'll keep you posted on that but i think that's the way to go oh definitely we have to plan for it and yeah, you're right. I mean, you, now we're talking about the back of out of warranty already. Yeah, yeah. Anything else, Mike? Yeah. What'd you say, Amy? <laughs> Just think about our own warranty. <laughs> I think I've been out of warranty. I think we're not too, thank you. <laughs> uh, correspondence. Correspondence of <laughs> Codes Officer Tato to Patricia Lavarge regarding property maintenance. Mortgage tax distribution from Clinton County Treasurer. Correspondence from Charles Wood Foundation regarding grant for music in the park. Appearance ticket to Sean Moynihan. Appearance ticket to Sean Moynihan. Notice of violation to Courtney Moynihan. JCEO monthly report. And a quarterly franchise fee from Charter Communications. Any questions or comments on correspondence? Um, new business. Uh, I put together um, a packet of several fund balance policies that exist around the country. They're all quite similar. What I would like to do is take, if two of you would be willing to volunteer to kind of put this together and come back, everyone should read all of them, but if two of you could get together and work on some recommendations for us. This is a required policy that we don't have right now. Um, I would like to get it in place in the next couple of months. So I don't know if I've got any volunteers. You will find these policies very, very similar. In fact, some of the wording is identical. Um, yeah, they probably share from each other. They do, and we're going to do that too, but I want to make sure that we don't leave anything out that the Village of Champlain needs to have included. So, would it couple of you be willing? Well, do it. Thank you, Amy. Would someone work with Amy, please? <laughs> Kim, thanks. And I'll let you two decide okay. you know, how, when you can get together and then bring it back. But I would ask that everyone really read over them and see. Um, and then we should be able to get this put together fairly easily. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Old business. Uh, blowers at the wastewater treatment plant are in and operating. Yes? Yep. All right. The contamination cleanup, I'm sure that you saw the big uh, big holes in the pavement out in front. Um, Mike actually can fill us in on that. I think better you did get them to agree with you that the little building needed to be further in the back. Yep. And I, is that the next stage? I know paving is last. They gotta do, they gotta do suction test and see if it's even going to work. You know what they need for a blower. They got to do a bunch of tests for vacuum and then once they decide that they're going to pipe. They got the pipes to the side of the building and running them down the outside of the building to the back and putting the blower by the back door. In that corner? Between the door and the edge of the building. They're going to put a platform. I think they're going to put a drum underneath it and then the blower on top of it. It's got a knockout pot you got to empty. Hmm. They're going to put a stack on it and it's going to blow right there. How they noisy is that going to be? So, I don't know. Just they wanted to put it in the driveway. I, I said no. They wanted to put it in the driveway. You can't have it in the driveway. Right. Right. You know, if you get a 10 foot right away, it takes. How are you going to get the bike? I mean, snow comes up the building, you can't even plow. I, I, I think we're going to. 
I don't think this is over. This is going to be a disaster. This is all clean stone all the way to the bottom, 15 feet deep. You know, you know what the water is going to do in here? That's mm -hmm. going to keep settling. I mean, they fill the trench and tack with a hand plate taper. That, that's not. Supposedly, they're supposed to come out and take out a couple feet and put item four, maybe. The reason then they weren't sure then they were going to put a concrete in those spots. I don't, I don't, right now, I'm not sure what they're doing. I don't think they know what they're doing. No, it keeps changing. Mm -hmm. it, so far, this is like 250000 mm -hmm. So, um, they are going to asphalt after it's all done. And just up to where they stopped and up to the edge of the building to the front piece. When the asphalt is in place, do you still think we're going to have groundwater issue with this? I think so. But, uh, there's, there's drainage they put in the basement. So... Your cell phone's going to be running more. If, if When they dug out here, they were hitting water. And these vacuum pipes can't pick up water. So you may end up seeing later a pumping system with an oil water separator and charcoal filters. And they've seen them before. I mean, they hit water when they were digging out here. I don't know. You've got right here by the building, you still got the old culvert pipes and then stacks in there. And it was all stone. So now that stone all the way to the edge of the building. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, you take that stone, the water can work up and down in that stone where the clay in between it can't. So, um, I don't know, it'll be interesting, but I think right where the cutouts are is right where the cars park. So you're going to be parked there, and that's in a hot summer, in a pavement, in a hot sun. I think you're going to end up with dip trenches that resettle. I don't think it'll go away. I think it's going to be constant. Um, Right now, I don't know where they're at. To I be think they're in the you. engineering part of the. Yeah. The, yeah. They're supposed to come up and they were supposed to come up the next day or whatever and put a sump next door in their basement, but they haven't did that yet. Any stack and stuff that they got here. So they're still in the decision making. They're just the guys come here and do what they are told to do and. Uh, I wanted a dimension that I'd lower before I. You know, I don't want to put it inside the building, but I guess... No, and I'm also concerned about noise for, you know, a nearby house. Well, if they put it here, it's right by the bedroom. Exactly. So, at least now it's on the back. Um, Is it going to be stacked high, so maybe you can get rid of some of the noise? I, I don't know how high. I mean, you got to have, you can only go so high, you got to have wires. So, you're only going to have whatever they can put. He's getting a smelly set from this one, so they may have to take the T off the top, stop it from going this way, and just let it go straight up. When the wind blows just right, of course, like a funnel, you know, between the buildings. He so, did say we could turn it off and on. Yeah. Because I'm worried about the electrical costs. Well, that too. Well, the first year, we were going to run steady. To be honest, since we've had that radon fan and the drainage in here, I don't think it's... It's much better. Well, yeah. It's a gazillion percent. Oh, yeah. This spring, we had all the rain. I mean, usually you can't send it and... I think that might have did it, but well, we'll keep you posted. It's their mm -hmm. design. I'm just worried about now, like you know, they got clay. They got clay that's supposed to be a vacuum break between them, and they're supposed to have valves we adjust to to break the vacuum, and depending on which trench, which one's drawing more or less, we got we got a, there's going to be a, a vacuum gauge on there, and we got to adjust that. But there's going to be knockout pots and everything. And, you know, I said, where does that go? If that's vapor. The vapor went in the air. Is it just water? Condensate? I mean, I don't... So there's supposed to be a whole big operation manual and a, I don't know. I, I really don't know that much about it yet because they haven't brought me anything yet. So it's going to learn, I guess, as they come in. Oh, it sounds like they're still building that plan. Yes, yeah. you are exactly right. They don't have that manual. Because originally they didn't know, you know, if they were going to put the blowers out back, you'd have to upsize them. You'd have to run power way out. But then... You're increasing the size of your blower, so what's that going to do with our electricity here? Mm -hmm. So, if we can keep it closer, so we're going to put it against between the garage door and the end of the building. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think DC told them to go ahead with the plan, and they went ahead with the plan, and I don't know if it's the whole plan is completed. So. But I know he did specify Maybe the it. Like, broke loose and the cart went. It was like the horses are going together. I think he said it like 200,000 already, I think. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. It's expensive. Yeah. I mean, they were hauling it by the dump truck to the landfill. I think it was taking them, well, for the first day, I think it was like an hour and 45 minutes. And then three trucks lined up at a time. And I think after that, it was like two or three hours sometimes. You more though? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was cheap. It was quicker for when I had Carl Hall and Sludge from the Trout River to Franklin County. I could haul a load in the morning. He was back here in the morning on his way out with a second tractor trailer at 11 o'clock. You know, they were turning around, but it's hard to deal with Clinton County. The paperwork and they hold you up and anyway. Thanks, Mike. Wait for trucks. Um, so I, I don't know any more now than did before she asked me to speak. So, <laughs> well, uh, well, let's just say that we do have some concerns. But I do have a few, yeah. As they do, I believe. I mean, we did have a move move that to the back, which I think is better. I just don't know what's going to happen here in the front wheel with the, the stone. Um, probably do the gasoline got broke here too. If that was fixed. Trench. Oh, oh yeah, the trench. Uh, yeah. Well, that was, oh, yeah, that was our short that. week. We had Monday off. Tuesday, a power line got hit by a truck, broke the pole. We still got no power to the tank. And Thursday, the gasoline got broke here. The trench collapsed and it when it did its asphalt strip between and it fell and it cut the line right off. So it was an interesting week. It was a great interesting week. Yeah, yes. it really killed what we had planned. It just it just puts it lost everything. <laughs> you just never know. So uh, it is what it is. <laughs> Nobody was hurt. That's the main thing. Yeah, right, that's right. You know. Yeah. Uh, we already discussed number three, water project negotiations. Um, a little update on the LED light, uh, street light conversion. Um, more people, more uh, municipalities have joined, so the cost is going to go down slightly. Um, NYSIG has been contacted. We have contacted NYSIG. Uh, we're ready to sign a contract. But before that, um, a company called Wendell is going to come um, do street mapping beginning this month right. on our lights. Yay. So that is moving forward. Good. Um, water line replacement, this is a long complicated topic, let me just say that uh, Candace Ballmer and Matt Cooper and I are discussing the best way to go forward. Um, the um, estimated cost for all of the lines that we had considered was 950000 The CDBG grant is for 750000 that leaves 200000 that would have to come from another source, like a loan. Then there's a question of who is responsible for paying that because we were taking our income survey information off of just the people on those streets of those lines. And there's talk about whether or not those people alone would be responsible for paying that debt because they would be the beneficiaries. That's not going to happen. No. I'm not going to ask the... No least able people in the village to pay the expense. Um, so we're in the middle of that. I have a conference no, call on that. Thursday. Um, so we'll see. Mike yeah. and I also talked about reducing the size of the replacement to just Main Street and Cedar and short a elm. little bit on Elm. And a short piece by, from the mill to that valley, right. hoping that would get rid of our AC. Yeah, and that um, of course, that reduces it greatly, but Cut it, about in half, it was about in half. But there's still the question of whether or not we'll even qualify for this grant. So, sorry to leave you all up in the air, but that's exactly where it is right now. No answers. No answers. <laughs> I have no answers, but lots of phone calls. Um, the UV de decontamination system. Um, I know Matt is working on that. He told me that today on, on the, the first part of that. Um, for the camera, security cameras, some are working and I believe some still are not. No, they're, right? all, they're all working. Didn't you have to redo something well, that you didn't have? I'm going to add one at the water plant. That's what I was thinking. He's going to bring the wire and when he, yeah. when he brings the new camera, we're going to swap the one. Over, you can switch the antennas and move it, but they're all working. Okay, all right. And they haven't been working since okay. we came in last night. Great. Uh, paving dates, you just no said idea. you have no idea. 
hydrant flushing, you said that uh, that yeah. will be done, but it's very complicated. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even want to know how complicated this is. Huh. It's not. Mike tried to explain it to me, and it was incredibly complicated. And we talked about the kayak, the kayak launcher. That's all I have. Anything else? I make a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you, everyone. Kim, not next week, but the week.